They're pledged to serve and protect us from crime. But in uh, doing so, police officers and sheriff's deputies also can find themselves accused of brutality, accidental shootings, and wrongful death lawsuits. Tonight in Mark Saxonmeyer's Fox Focus, he shows us what some local law enforcers are doing to help prevent those kinds of predicaments. They're de-emphasizing weapons and turning instead to a different kind of extreme force, their bodies and their minds. I know Kung Fu. Show me. Ever notice how in the movies, the good guy almost always gets the bad guy when he resorts to... ...or something similar? Well, sometimes the stuff of movies makes its way to the arena of real life. Welcome to Fight Club. This is what's known as Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and these three Chicago-area law enforcement officers are here to learn it in hopes of fine-tuning their crime-fighting prowess. The time to, to get ready and train for confrontations isn't why you're in one, it's before that. And that's what this does. For about 150 bucks a month, Carlson Gracie Sr. and Jr., renowned for training Jiu-Jitsu gold medalists, will help turn your average street cop into a lean, mean, street-fighting machine. The suspect here, he comes from behind, they're gonna grab him by the neck. You're gonna lift the hand and throw him over the shoulder. Jeff Neal assists the Gracies. So as he goes to hit, I'm gonna grab the ankle down here. Once I secure this position, I apply pressure with the right leg. Try to hit, instantly, he's up. We like to focus on joint locks, where you can cause some pain, but there's no damage. The foot comes to the back, Pull, pull, push. It's an offensive position. Contrary to popular belief, the street fighters are not trained. They're wild. And they're much easier to control once the law enforcement people work with us. And since officers aren't allowed to choke or hit those they're apprehending, jiu-jitsu works well as a submission tool. We're not pushing the punching um, and the choking. It's a more mobilization. Joseph Pari, an 11-year veteran of one local sheriff's department, shows off what he's learned. In the heart of danger, you'll find safety. So when the punch comes, I come into it. This way, I can secure the arm, break the balance, and then I have my lock and my secure, so I can either take him to the ground, trump him up, or squirt him out. These officers say 80 to 90 percent of police altercations end up on the ground, and that's why this type of training is essential. When something happens out on the street, you're, you have a cooler head and you're uh, more able to react, which is uh, so you're not freezing up. Trap, base. And while self-defense is obviously stressed in police training academies, these cops say in this day and age, it's important to keep on top of their skills to prepare and practice for the worst. You never know the time or place this is going to happen. And it's usually the time when you're, when you're the most lax, when you're thinking about your two days off, or you're thinking about the vacation you're about to take. It sends the bad guys a message. I would hope so. And while what these guys are learning isn't exactly this... Stuff is flashy. Everything in here works. You're not making movies, sir. Nonetheless, they're ready for their close-up. Yes, yes. That kick in your... Ah! Very good. Good job. With the Fox Focus, Mark Saxonmeyer, Fox News. Well...